Hey, glad you're here. Come on in. Let's talk about robot drivetrain ground clearance. Let's talk about different types of wheels, different types of belts you could use. And then we'll talk about some of the things that you got in your kit of parts, those types of things. I apologize for missing yesterday. I was sick as a dog, so um, I've seen a couple doctors and I've had some good medicine in my system and I feel a lot better today. Yes, mom, I am, I am taking care of myself and uh, thank you for your concern. Today's lunch, I've got some turkey and Munster sandwich. I've got a yogurt, I've got carrots, so i got my vegetables. i got some string cheese and if I'm good, I'll eat my chocolate chip cookie. In your um, A1 for you 2 kit, it's a big blue box. I think you have this, this calendar. It shows you different important dates regarding the calendar. We didn't even put the rest of the season, rest of the year on the calendar because this is what's the most important right now. I want to focus on a couple things here. I had a call yesterday about changing your wheel size. Maybe you're concerned that you don't have enough clearance going over the, the scoring platform. I believe the four inch wheels do go over the scoring platform, but there is some rubbing involved. So you might want to put a six inch wheel on there if you choose to do so. Four inches will work, six inches of wheel gives you more ground clearance. So look at this chart. This gives you the different belt choices and where to put your axle for different wheel sizes. We have a six inch wheel for sale if you want to switch out to six inch wheels. And I think you got to get a 160 tooth belt. You have to buy those. Those were not included in the kit. Gates did a good job of including a bunch of belts in the kit, but this wasn't in the kit. So you have to buy a new wheel and a new belt, four belts per kit. Make sure you get the Rev 2 0940A. Don't get the 940, get the 940A. Also, we've noticed that if you put a six inch mechanum, which I'll talk about that in a little bit, or a four inch mechanum on your AM1 for U2, you might need to make the side plates a little further apart from each other. So what we're going to do, we're coming up with a kit that's coming out very soon, but we're gonna make a new version of the churro. We're gonna make it a half inch longer. It'll give you plenty of clearance for the mechanic wheel to go inside of the, the two rails, the two side plates. So it'll have plenty of clearance there. You could also put a spacer there, but we're gonna sell churros that are half inch longer that will be done if you want to go and use that. So if you do space out those plates another half inch, having a different bracket will be required. So we have some brackets that were left over from last year, or you can make your own. We are out of six inch mechanic wheels right now, but we're getting more parts in. We did run out of some brass tubes and also some side plates. Brass tubes will be here Monday, I believe. So the regular version of the six inch mechanic wheel will be back in stock on Monday. I think we just ran out of stock of that today. And then the HD version will be back in stock, I believe on Wednesday the 14th. It's not a promise. I'll keep you updated on that. It might change, but I see parts coming in. Thank you for your patience with that. If you did notice, in the kit of parts, everybody got a PG-71 motor. We've been putting these in a the kit of parts for a while. We, we like the simplicity of the gearbox. 71 to 1 reduction gives about 75 RPM. And this year, we have a big improvement. We worked on this pretty hard. We added a encoder to the back side of the motor. This, this motor has an extended shaft. It uses a simple Hall effect encoder and the neat thing about it is you can attach your 12 gauge wires to this green connector you don't have to worry about soldering the wires to the two terminals on the motor so this is this is a great improvement I believe over the PG71's that we've had in the past but this is the newest and um, best version of this gearbox we've had a few calls regarding the Dura Omni um, 4 inch Omni wheel to go into the AM1 for U2 chassis and it is a bit wider than the four inch high grip wheel so you need to cut down your long spacer so that it is 0.325 inches long or get a new spacer maybe a piece of PVC pipe it goes over a 3 8 shaft keep the questions coming send them to support at antimark.com or uh, tweet at us or check out our Facebook. All right, so the question of the day today is, is it mechanum or mechanum? Now, I know it doesn't have an H in it, 
But if, if someone wants to do some investigation about the company in Northern Europe that invented the mechanum wheel or the mechanum wheel, if you can prove one way or the other, like from the company that made it, let us know. Maybe we'll give you a gift. And it'll, it'll solve the, that age-old question of mechanum or mechanum. Hey, thanks for watching. Um, this is the third year we've been doing this. Share this with all of, the, all of your friends building robots these days. We've, we're just wanting to help people um, solve this year's game and make the best experience they can for their teams. So share it as you wish and uh, have fun. Thanks.